population structure using structure software. Aim to split a given population into clusters based on genetic markers such as microsatellites. First, prepare input file. Input file can be based either on DNA fragment size or number of microsatellite repeats. Number of repeats can be allocated using software or online finders as shown here. Other markers can be used such as SNPs or RIFLIPS. Input file based on number of repeats should be a TXT file. Sample ID in duplicates, row of markers name, individual ID, number of repeats, missing data, designated as minus nine, usually ignored by the software, population information, pop ID, designating origin of sample, like geography or group. Fragment size can be used instead of number of repeats. Secondly, estimate K. K is the number of clusters or populations in a sample of individuals. Estimate delta K to determine correct number of clusters, K, delta K. An ad hoc statistic, delta K, based on the rate of change in the log probability of data between successive K values taken from structure batch run, K from 1 to 10. To calculate delta K, conduct a batch run from K equals 1 to K equals 10. Double click structure icon to open. Go to File and New Project. A project wizard will pop up. In the wizard, fill in the name of the project. Select the directory where you want the results files to be. And select the txt input file. Once filled, click next to go to the new wizard. Fill in number of individuals, ploidy of data, which is two, number of loci or markers used, which is three in this example, and minus nine for missing data. Click next. In the next wizard, tick the first option, row of marker names, and click next. In the next wizard, tick the first two options, individual ID and putative population origin. A summary of run parameters will pop up for review. Click proceed. Input file will appear in the result console showing label, pop ID, and the three markers or loci. Click parameter set window and click new to show a new parameter set pop up. This pop up contains four levels. First, the run length in which length of burn in period and number of MCMC repeats were assigned at 30,000 and 100,000 respectively. Burn-in length is how long to run a simulation before collecting data to minimize effect of starting configuration, while MCMC is how long to run the simulation after burn-in to get correct estimates of P and Q parameters. In both cases, values between 10,000 and 100,000 are enough. The next level is the ancestry model. Take use population information, then click advanced, then take admixture model, which assumes individuals are admixed and they get their genomes from each of the K populations. Third level is the allele frequency model, and the fourth is advanced, with both left as default. Click OK, fill in the new pop-up with a name, such as new spoiler 3, the console will show the simulation configuration details. Go to project window and click start a job. A structure scheduler will pop up. Mark or highlight your project. Fill in set K from 1 to 10. Fill number of iterations as 10. Click start. The run console, black background, will start showing lines running up in high speed. The top left console will show each run as it finishes. If your computer is slow, the batch run will take time. Once the run is complete, a job is completed pop-up will show with structure job log, showing the 100 runs. Click OK on both pop-ups.
steps to estimate delta k using an excel file one set 10 columns from k equals 1 to k equals 10 at least 10 2 from structure run copy paste mean value of lead likelihood into excel cells Calculate mean and standard deviation for each K column. 4. Calculate mean L of K and plot a graph. Five. Calculate rate of change of likelihood distribution. L prime of K equals L of K minus L of K minus one and plot a graph. Six, calculate absolute value of second order of rate of change. Absolute value of L double prime of K equals absolute value of L prime of K plus one minus L prime of K. Seven, calculate delta K. Delta K equals mean of absolute value of L double prime of K over standard deviation of L of K and plot a graph. equals highest delta k value, which is 2 in this example. Let's make an individual run based on k equals 2. Go to file and new project. A project wizard will pop up. Fill in the wizards one after the other as described earlier in the batch run. Fill in the pop-up wizard with a new Spora 3. The console will show the simulation configuration details. Go to parameter set, click run and fill in the wizard with a delta k value which is 2 in our example. 
click OK to start the run. Once the run is finished, go to Parameter Set, Highlight New Spora 3, click Bar Plot, then click Show to see the bar plot as estimates of Q, which can be viewed in five different forms and saved as JPG or PDF. Bar plot of estimates of Q. Bar plot sorted by Q reveal two genetically distinct clusters, one and two. In the bar plot, each individual is represented as vertical colored bar. Individual bar can be one color or partitioned into K colored segments that represent the individual's estimated membership fraction in each of the K inferred clusters. In our example, at K equals two, some bars are red some are green, and some have both with different proportions. X-axis represents sample number and pop ID in brackets, while Y-axis is probability from 0 to 1. Q-bar plot for sample 309, 100% belongs to cluster 1. Q-bar plot for sample 305, 100% belongs to cluster 2. Q-bar plot for sample 306 belongs to cluster 1, 40%, and to 60%. Make new input files. Steps to split clusters. 1. Make a copy of the original input file. 2. Number the samples in the new copy txt input file to compare it with those in the queue plots. Bar plot of multiple lines in original order. 3. Show original order of plot of multiple lines, Q bars, and save it. 4. Based on these Q bars, make two TXT input files, one for cluster 1 samples and the other for cluster 2 samples. Estimate delta k for the two clusters. For cluster 1, make a new txt input file containing 226 samples, while for cluster 2, make a new txt input file containing 83 samples. Conduct a batch run for both clusters as described earlier to estimate delta k, which revealed k equals 2 for both. Subclusters. The two clusters have split into two subclusters each. Check if the clustering follows a geographic pattern or other patterns. Refer to the references at the end to see how cluster graphs are presented and discussed.